Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia, and today we're going to be explaining how to create and configure an instrument track in Studio One. So, um, this tutorial assumes that you have already properly configured your MIDI controller. So, instrument tracks. In order to create and configure an instrument track, uh, first of all, we need to create the track, right? So, if you go to the, your to your top menu bar and you go to track you can click on add instrument track you're gonna see a little piano logo there click on add instrument track and if I click and drag this down I should be able to open this okay there you go as you can see I have created a track it's called track 7 um, you can basically double click there and type any name I'm gonna say synth okay uh, so I just typed synth and then I pressed um, enter and I have renamed it, right? Um, as you can see, uh, there are three drop down um, lists here. We're concerned about the one in the middle, which is the inputs. As you can see, it says all inputs. That means that all the MIDI controllers that are connected to Studio One will trigger this instrument track. Actually, if I go ahead and press any keyboard or any key of my MIDI keyboard, I should see some level here. I'm gonna do it now. There it is. What you're seeing there, that's actually, that's not audio. Okay, that's MIDI information. So you can see that at least this track is receiving MIDI from my keyboard. Now, it is receiving from all inputs, so if I had two or three of them, all of them would be triggering this track. So you want to make sure that when you go here, you click and then you select the one that you actually need to trigger. Um, I want the mini lab to trigger this track, so I'm going to go ahead and click on mini lab there. Now, the very first option here says none. You can see a little piano logo there. It's very tiny, but you can see it there. This is telling you uh, from this list, there are no actual instruments assigned to this instrument track. Uh, as you might know, the way this works is that the instrument track will receive MIDI information. That MIDI information will be sent to the actual virtual instrument and the output of that virtual instrument will be delivered to this track. But there's no virtual instrument on it. So in order to add the virtual instrument to the instrument track, we can go down here to our Browse tab. And if you're in the Home tab, you can see there's Instruments here. So if I click on Instruments, uh, you can see Apple, Arturia, you know, Presonus. We're going to be using a Presonus instrument. So I'm going to click on Presonus. And there I can see I have the Impact, the Mai Tai, uh, with all the presets. Uh, Mojito, whatever that is, pre, uh, Presence, Sample 1. I'm going to be using Mai Tai. So what I'm going to be doing, very easy. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it. Before I release the click, you can see that it says Insert Instrument on Track Synth, Mai Tai. So what this is telling me is that as soon as I release the mouse, the Mai Tai instrument will be inserted or I guess associated to the quote-unquote synth instrument track that I created. I'm going to release the mouse and boom. You can see my tie is now assigned to my synth track and the my tie window will open here where I can I can um, tweak any of the parameters. Now if I press my MIDI keyboard now, any key, I should see audio here and I should be able to listen to it. Let's give it a shot. There it is. So yes, um, that's how you create and configure an instrument track in Studio One. Uh, as you can see, we can now listen to the audio coming out of the instrument, of the virtual instrument, uh, which has been triggered by the MIDI coming out of my MIDI keyboard. I hope this tutorial was very helpful. 
Thank you very much for watching, and you guys have a nice day. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.